Legends take their information from families already loaded in the project and allow us to create graphical representations of them to be used in schedules, drawing legends, and other things that we might need to be able to display in our projects. In order to be able to do this, we need to be inside of a legend view. So we need to create a legend view. Up here on the ribbon, we need to select on view and then look for the little legend symbol. And it's gonna be over here toward the right hand side. And we're gonna click on legends in order to be able to create a legend. So select the word legend. Next is gonna be asking for a new legend view. And we're gonna to wanna to be able to call this, oh, let's just call this legend component. Next is gonna be asking for a scale. The scale is kind of up to you. We can always change it down here after the fact. In this case though, I'm just gonna change this to be one inch equals a foot and click on okay. Now, something that I mentioned is that legends take the information from families that are already loaded into the project. In this case, it's gonna be taking the symbology from those families, which is already loaded into the project, and we're gonna be able to place it in this blank drawing area. When we do that, it means that we can start creating legends, different sorts of schedules, whatever the case may be, based on the images that we see. So we're gonna come up here to annotate and click on the annotate tab. And the kind of component we wanna be able to put in here is a legend component. So don't just click on the word component right here, but click on the little down arrow that shows there and make sure that you select on legend component. Once you've done that, on the options bar going across the top of the screen, we can see that we have ceilings, basic ceiling, generic. Well, what this is saying is that this is just the first of the different families that we have available to us that can be shown in some sort of either plan or elevation view. In this case, just click on that, and let's scroll down on here and see if we can find anything else that maybe we'd want to create a legend component out of or be able to say, this object, if it looks this way, is this type of object. Well, looking down here on the list, one of the things that I think that most people are going to be able to spot and go, I recognize that, is going to be our structural columns. In this case, I see a W wide flange column, which is a W14 by 43. Let's go ahead and click on that and see what it looks like. Now, what we're looking at is how this column would look like in a floor plan view. If we decide to click in order to be able to place this, we can see there's the outline of the column. If we change this from being floor plan view to being front elevation view, we could change this to be right or anything else. In this case, just make sure it's front. And we're just gonna click in order to place it, kind of zoom out. There we can see it from the front elevation view. Look at what it looks like from the left-hand side. You'll even notice there's a blue dashed line that shows up going across the top of the screen. And that's gonna allow us to line these different components up. And I'll go ahead and just click to place that. That being said, we could choose from any of these other things that happen to be on the list. If we wanted to see a picture of what the floor looked like in a section view, we could select on one of these different floors and move it over here, and we can see what that floor is going to look like inside of a section view. Whenever you're dealing with these legends, we always have to remember the purpose of legends, and in particular the legend components, is to be able to show the way these parts actually look like inside of our plan view. If they would happen to change, for instance, if maybe this floor would get updated, the properties, the thickness of it might get updated, the legend component would update automatically and it would display whatever the latest changes would happen to be. Legends communicate the way items are represented within the project environment. Our legend components allow us to be able to place these things in our legends and know that we're gonna have good, consistent quality. And if the symbology would change in the project, it will also change on our legend.